हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजिटल इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज़ एपिसोड 36 वन प्लस इज ऑल सेट टू लॉन्च इज फर्स्ट एवर स्मार्ट वॉच अलोंग विद द वन प्लस 9 सीरीज वन प्लस वॉच हैज गॉन ऑन प्री ऑर्डर इन चाइना हेड ऑफ 23 मार्च लॉन्च इन ऑर्डर टू बुक द स्मार्ट वॉच द बायर्स विल हैव टू पे एन अमाउंट ऑफ चाइनीज यॉन ऑफ 50 Poco X3 Pro specifications has been released by MI's official store. It comes with Snapdragon 860 processor and it comes with 6.67 inch full HD plus 120 hertz refresh rate screen and we can also see a battery of 5160 mAh. Reliance is working towards the launch of its first GeoBook laptop in India. It is no secret anymore. We even saw a report by XDA developers a few weeks ago. and we also saw some of the specifications and features of this upcoming geobook along with the geobook it is also launching geo 5g smartphone which is going to be a reliance 5g ready android smartphone and it is going to launch in the second quarter of 2021 and it is also said that upcoming devices r&d will be completed by may june timeline which is currently been developed in partition with search engine j in google For years now we have been watching and waiting as Google has gradually developed their Fuchsia operating system from the ground up. Now evidence has been appeared pointing to Google Fuchsia OS getting its first and second proper release. As a quick recap, Fuchsia is an operating system like Android, Mac OS and Windows developed by Google as an open source project. While Google has been fairly secretively working on this project over the years, despite its open nature, the Fuchsia team recently opened the door for developers to contribute to the project. Clubhouse application has becoming popular across the globe. The fake app looks identical to the original Clubhouse and can easily trick users to download it. This app carries Balrog malware which can gain illegal access to your WhatsApp and Facebook. The cyber criminals are trying to dupe users to download the fake Clubhouse application so that they can steal users' login information for a lot of online services. Through Apple Map, users are allowed to see the locations of COVID-19 vaccination center in the United States. The new update is going to use the data available on the website Vaccine Finder to share the location of vaccine centers with map users. The Brazilian Consumer Protection Regulator based in San Paulo state fined Apple on Friday for not including a charger in the iPhone 12 box. The fine is around 2 million dollars that is misleading advertising selling a device without charger and unfair terms. This is not the first time Procon XP questioned Apple about its new policy. Qualcomm CEO said that he is seeing improvements in efforts to ease chip shortages that have been caused recent disruptions across several industries and that demand for older chips is easier to respond to. Demand has soared for chips in recent months with panic buying further sequencing capacity and driving up cost of even the cheapest components of nearly all microchips. This robot rover will chase you around a store and tempt you to buy a candy. This robot was developed by Bratz Wrigley and a company called Savio and has been nicknamed Smiley. Even though the bot lacks a face, it looks more like an autonomous shelf that relies on various sensors including lidar to not only safely navigate a store but also detect when a person caves into temptation and approaches Smiley to grab some snacks like gum and candy bars at which point it will stop until the shoppers walk away. This robot is currently undergoing testing at ShopRite store at New York which is recently been renovated with wider aliases to make it perfect testing environment for autonomous shopping assistants like this and hands free grocery carts. SpiceJet has dedicated a special aircraft flyover to honor actor Sonu Sood for its humanitarian effort to help stranded migrant workers to reach their homes during coronavirus crisis last year. Their post has now won people over and prompted them to share all sort of comments. The actor too responded to the gesture by the airlines with an emotional tweet. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.